Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Brown. Let's go ahead and make this block right here. So this is an example of where we're going. When we're done with this exercise, we should have something that looks like this. So lots of details on the bottom, lots of details on top, and it looks like a block. So that looks pretty much like it's supposed to look. So let's get going here. So if you are new to this, Go to File, go to New. If you're at the Home, let's see where the Home button go, right there. If you're right here at the Home screen, go to New. So click on New. If this Templates right here is not listed, hit this little drop down arrow right here. This one we are doing in inches, so we're going to hit English. Um, if you really want to do it in metric, you can, but all the in information all the dimensions I'm going to give you are in inches so we're going to be working in inches for this one. Uh, remember we we're making a part file this is not sheet metal this is a standard part file so I'm going to click on standard inch dot IPT uh, we're not working with assemblies or drawings or presentations right now so I'm going to hit create and this should open up a nice blank screen right here. If for some reason this bar over here on the left side is not there. Um, I've had some people where it defaulted to not being there for some reason. But if you hit this little plus right here, it says show tabs. If you hit model browser, click that so you get this bar back right here. So that's pretty important. Um, it's very useful later on. All the work that you do will end up being shown right here. So if I go back to my completed one, you can see all of the things that I've done right here. Um, here, while we're right here, I'll just kind of break down the step-by-step -step how this one was done, and then I'll go through and actually just show you it all, and we can all do it together. Um, so first thing I did was I made, let's see if this will work. So first thing I did is I made just a little box right here, a little rectangular prism, added the studs on the top, Let's see, next one I did, oh, I added that little little divot hole right there in the middle. You can do that if you want to. I added the other little plastic piece there. Fillet, what a fillet is, is it rounds over things. So I rounded over the tops of the studs, rounded over the edge of the cube. I hollowed it out. So before this step, it was a solid bottom, so I just hollowed it out. Then I added, oh, these little ribs right here. Put those all the way around, rounded them over, add the tubes, round the tubes over, add that little piece in the middle, and round over that last thing. So, just do that. All right, now let's get into actually doing that. So. Here we are in our new part file right here. Nothing's been done yet, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Start 2D Sketch. So remember what we do is we start a 2D sketch, we draw our shape, we bring it into 3D, and then we keep going from there. So start a 2D sketch. When I click that, it's going to give me my planes right here. My XZ, my YZ, and my XY planes. Uh, you can really draw on any one of them. For our block right here, let us take it and let us start looking at it from the top view. So we're gonna start with this part right here. We're gonna start it from the top, get that rectangle down. So that rectangle should be one and a quarter by two and a half inches. So let us go back into here. Let us click on this plane right here. Now, for some reason, it defaults. If you look at this, the view cube up top here, for some reason, it looks that way. I don't know why it does that. It's just kind of some setting as to which way is up and everything. If you want to, if that bothers you, it bothers me. I don't know why, but I'm going to hit this little curved arrow right here just to rotate it back so the top is upright I guess all right 
So first thing to do, let's draw a rectangle. So like I said, we need a rectangle that is two and a half inches by one and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna click the rectangle tool. Um, with all the tools here, if you see this little arrow below it, what that means is there's other tools below that. So there's even different ways to draw a rectangle. Here's four different ways to draw a rectangle. Three different ways to draw a slot, which is a rectangle with rounded edges. Um, things like that. Uh, but let's just stick with the two-point rectangle right here. Um, the difference between them all, so like if you just leave your mouse over it, it'll tell you. So this one is you click one corner, then click the other corner. Um, the other one that's useful is this two-point center, where you click the very center of the rectangle and then find the outside. But let's just click on rectangle. Let's go to our little origin point right here, because it's always a good idea to use the origin just to keep your frame of reference. Um, and again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I'm going to lift my finger off the mouse, I'm going to move the mouse, and I'm going to type in numbers to get an exact measurement. Then I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to click and move. So I'm going to click and move. I am not holding down the mouse. The width of our block is two and a half inches. So that's highlighted number that's highlighted in blue that right now it says 4.987. Um, that's where we can type in a number. So I'm going to type in two and a half. You can do two space one slash two will give you two and a half. Or since we know half is 0.5, I'm going to do 2.5 either way. Inventor can deal with fractions, Inventor can deal with decimals, it has no problem. All right, now I need to set the height. So I need to hit tab on my keyboard. So tab is on the far left, right above caps lock. And that will take me to that other box and I'm gonna do one and a quarter. So either 1.25 or one space one slash four. And I'm gonna hit enter. All right, so there's my rectangle. That's the top view of my block and that's excellent. Now, depending on how your screen is, you might just have to zoom in. So if you zoomed in way too far and it looks like this, um, that zoom all button right there, if you click that, it'll just take your whatever your drawing is and zoom it in on the screen. Or you have the scroll wheel where you can roll the wheel up and down to zoom in and out. All right, so that looks good. Most of what we're going to do requires start 2D sketch, do whatever your sketch is, and then finish sketch. So I'm going to hit finish sketch, and we have a rectangle. Yay! Now we need to make that rectangle three-dimensional. The most often used tool for making things 3D is this extrude button right here. Um, you'll notice it automatically switched over to this 3D model tab, Inventor is gonna do what it can to help you out. It's gonna try it, its best to figure out what you want and try to help you out. It says, hey, you just drew a two-dimensional rectangle. You probably wanna make a three-dimensional shape. And it's right. Right now, we're gonna hit extrude. What extrude does again is it takes your flat shape and it brings it up into three dimensions. So I'm gonna hit extrude. I have this little arrow I can bring up and down. You should have a little box that comes up that looks like this. And looking at our drawing, so looking at our drawing, we need to bring it up three quarters of an inch. So right now we're working with the height. So we're gonna bring that up three quarters of an inch. Let me try this. If all this stuff gets in the way, just let me know, and I won't do it again. But right now we're working at three quarters of an inch. So grabbing this arrow, I can, I mean, three quarters of an inch is pretty standard. That's 0.75. So I can bring it till it's 0.75 inches. Or if I just come over here and I just type in 0.75 or three slash four and hit enter. So now I've got this right there. All right. So that looks pretty good. Um, look, what should we do next? Next, let's put these studs on there. So 
Okay, let me start a new video here and then we'll add the studs.